Dylan Riola, 2024 quarterback, decommits from Ohio State. Hmm, where have I heard that name that begins with an R? Hmm, where have I heard the name Riola before? Oh, that's right. It's the only coach that was retained from the previous staff at Nebraska. Now, when I first heard that Donovan Raiola was being retained as the offensive line coach at Nebraska, my initial thought was, huh? That offensive line that didn't really progress at all? That offensive line that wasn't that great? Like, it confused me. It was a head scratcher a little bit. Now we advance a couple of weeks down the road and you hear the news that Dylan Raiola, the five-star quarterback that was originally committed to Ohio State, has decommitted and all of a sudden that open opens up the floodgates. This is such a key time for Matt Rule. There is an opportunity sitting out there on a silver platter. If somehow, some way, Dylan Raiola commits, and I know we got a long way to go, like even if Dylan Raiola commits to Nebraska next week, we still got all of this time where other schools can get out NIL deals. Where I mean, we're, we're going to talk about Dante Moore later in this show. He just took a visit to UCLA. Like, we're, they're recruiting kids. They're throwing the bag and NIL deals, trying to flip commitments right now up until, you know, the early signing period in December. So just because he commits now doesn't mean anything when we get uh, to next December when Dylan Raiola um, could sign his national letter of intent. But I will say this, Nebraska, you bet your bottom dollar is going to be in the hunt for Dylan Raiola because if they can land him, that is the future of your program right there. That is a big time get right now. And I think these next weeks, I think, are going to play a tremendous factor into whether Dylan Raiola ends up eventually in Lincoln, Nebraska. Because you got a couple of transfer quarterbacks. You, I mean, you had Casey Thompson, Jeff Sims, and if they continue to build their program, they continue to get impressive transfers, maybe they can hang on to Malachi Coleman. You know, you kind of keep on going down the list of checks, checking off some of these boxes of things that have to happen. If Matt Rule can make these things happen, and if he can swing for the fences, connect in the barrel of the bat, and land Dylan Raiola next year in that signing class, that like that's something that never would have happened with Mike Riley, with Scott Frost, maybe even with Bo Pelini. You know, like this is something that really hasn't happened on a recruiting front for Nebraska in a long time, and this would send a big time message to the rest of the Big Ten if they can land Dylan Riola. This kid is a talented kid. And especially if they can take him from a program like Ohio State. Long way to go, but Nebraska, think they're in it. I think they're in it. And that's all you can ask right now. So you're saying there's a chance.